Hi everyone, Melissa here with another haul video. Today I woke up at eight o'clock in the morning and I decided not to go to Goodwill. And then later in the day I was feeling a little better so then I decided to go to Goodwill. I went to our retail Goodwill, which all the prices are the prices. They never have any sales or clearance or half off tags or anything like that. And I spent $107 which is a lot of money, <laughs> especially compared to everything at the bin. But here's what I got for that $107. I got, this was $5.99, and it was an Ann Taylor, it's the black label, so it's their actual Ann Taylor label, not loft or factory or anything like that. And it was brand new with tags. And the retail was $150 for this dress. So it's just a gray dress. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. It's almost six o'clock at night here, so the lighting is not ideal. But career wear, cute sweater dress. I'm guessing this is some kind of wool blend. I'll probably price it around $25 to $30 with the best offer. So. Decent. Next up, love this. This was $4.49 and the label is Boston Proper and this is the Boston Proper newer label. Boston Proper is hit or miss for me, but I thought with Valentine's Day right around the corner, this is like a boat neck, um, ruched, it's ruched on the side with elastic red sequin I'm gonna put Valentine's Day in the title it's so fun so I'll probably price this at I don't know oh and it's cold shoulder too this might even still be on their website I'm gonna to have to check but I'll probably price it at $20 $25 Banana Republic and I don't know this name Loren Scott collection it must be a collaboration Hopefully I'm holding that at the right level. And it's kind of a bright yellow and black lace, but not real lace, it's a woven lace blazer. And I looked these up and some of them were going for about 25, some of them went for about 55, so it just depended on the size, which mine's a good size, it's a size 12, and they wanted $10 for this. So I probably will price this more along the lines of $40. Cute. Next up is one of my favorite labels to find and that's Neon Buddha. Neon Buddha, these originally were sold for $87.99. Neon Buddha is on Amazon, but I know they also are sold at boutiques. And they wanted $10 for these. They're kind of like a charcoal gray very lounge pant, soft, 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 with some detail buttons. It's looking more brown in the camera, but they're definitely gray. And they are size, yeah, Buddha, size large. So I'll probably price these. I'll have to look up uh, the style. They usually have styles and names for them. Maybe $30, maybe a little bit more than that. Good find, Lululemon. I don't find Lululemon a lot here. They wanted $10 for this, which I would pay all day, and they still have the size in them. They're a size 12, and I don't know what these are called. They're like longer shorts maybe, or shorter capri pants. I'll have to look up the style. They're a very pretty plum purple. I'm gonna have to try these on. They're 12, but they don't look very 12-like. I bet you they stretch a lot. Pretty. And for $10, I'll have to look up the style, and I'm guessing I could probably get about 40 to 50 of them. These are just for me. <laughs> I needed some walking shorts now that I'm feeling a little better. We got sneakers the other night, uh, retail, which was crazy to pay retail, some good sneakers. So these are just Danskin now. I'm sure they're like Walmart or Target. Nothing phenomenal, but they were, they were, 
What did they want for these? Way too much. They wanted $4.99. But again, I needed something and these were perfect. Okay. Another decent find. These were $3.99. I don't know how they price their shorts. They're much cheaper than everything else. So Joe Fit. Is this Joe Fit? Joe Fit. I've sold Joe Fit before. It's an athletic brand that does usually like skorts and um, Bermuda shorts, which these are. Like the color, size six. Aqua, and they have like a paint splash to them. Great shorts for golfing or just wearing in the summer. $3.99, I really think I might be able to get 20, 25 bucks out of this. This I bought for me. I'm gonna have to try it on. It's a very soft, like cornflower blue top. And they wanted $13 for this. And there's no labels. It's like a boutique kind of top. It's got a lot of layers, like a damask embroidery on it. Very pretty. The whole thing is embroidered. There's little ruffles down the side. It has an asymmetrical hem tiered with a lot of like I don't know what this is, netting almost, a netted lace. Pretty, I'm gonna try this on, this, this has me all over it. But no labels, which is a shame because I'm sure this was a boutique thing. But pretty color, love it. I have never found this label, I've heard of it, but this is Sweaty Betty. <laughs> okay, so Sweaty Betty, brand new with tags. Maybe the tags have the thing on it, here we go. Woody Betty. And it said these retailed for $195 US. They're a size large. They're like a really, I guess they're black, almost like a charcoal gray because of the wool. And they have breakaway sides. Breakaway sides are just like the snaps down the side. And they have them, and they're very career looking pants, very wool, fully lined, really nice pants. But with the breakaway sides, it's cracking me up. Florit, Florit, this is an anthropology brand. Focus, focus, there we go. This is a dress, it's very prairie-esque. So I'll probably put prairie in the title. What color is this? Kind of a muted maroon, I guess. Raisin. I'm gonna have to look up the style. It's a dress, it's smocked waist. It's a very long skirt and it's only lined to the knee so the, the bottom half is sheer and it buttons the whole way down. But Anthropology does pretty well still and they wanted $6. So I'll look up the style. I'll probably get, I'm gonna guess just off the top of my head, 40 bucks for it. This label keeps popping up, so I'm assuming it's the same person and I just keep finding it. It's Pretty Angel. There we go, Pretty Angel. And if I'm not mistaken, I might have the matching piece to this. I think I had found at that same store, this was $3.49, a cardigan in the same color. So I think I still have it. I'll have to look it up and then I'll have to retake photos if this in fact matches that. So that might just be an extra piece for that and then I would raise the price a little bit. It's asymmetrical on the hems. It's just a very gauze-like top. If I don't still have the piece, I'll probably put this for maybe $14.99. Pretty buttons. Another good piece. And oh my gauze. Love oh my gauze. There's a store in Sarasota, I think, so that's about a, a half hour, 45 minutes from us. It's their size one, so it's their small medium, and they wanted $12.99 for this. Somebody's known what they're doing here, and it is a dress. It looks like it could have been shorts just by the way the dress is cut, but it's not. It's totally a dress. It's a darker teal, and it's got like all of this fringe. Really good condition, short sleeves. This is gonna be perfect for somebody's summer wardrobe. Love the color. 
This is probably the only piece I wasn't thrilled with, but I got it because of the label. Ellie Tahari, how much did they want for this? They wanted $4.99, Ellie Tahari, which is the top of the Tahari line. And it's a size six, so decent size. Fully lined, let's see, I'm guessing this is it, okay. So it has like these teeny little stitched pleats in the front, A-line skirt, brown, black, blue, kind of off-white. Has a grow green ribbon in the back with a zipper, exposed zipper. I don't know. I like Tahari sometimes does well and sometimes it sits there. I think I have two pieces now sitting there, so might as well add a third. I'm gonna probably price that for about 30 bucks. Athleta. Can you see that? Love the color, of course. Athleta. This is a large tall, and it's kind of a swim type material. Uh, I'll look up um, if it still has the style number in it. If not, I'll just Google it. But usually there's a style number on the label inside, which I am not seeing. It's got a full pair of shorts and then a skirt. You could wear this for any kind of <laughs> any kind of sport probably like tennis or running or well not any kind of sport but um you might even be able to wear this to swim pretty $4.99 and then my last piece is a comforter so I'm gonna move back a little bit here okay so last piece is a comforter it's from Pottery Barn kids and it's their Star Wars collection And it's upside down, of course it's upside down. Okay. Do you see it? It has Darth Vader and some stormtroopers on the front. It's in really good shape. I'll be able to wash this no prob. So they had no price on this. So when I asked, and there's no size on the label, the guy's like, oh, I think that's a queen. It's totally not a queen. And so I brought it up and the lady, I said, I think it's a full or a twin. And I said, we can measure it and compare it to online measuring guides and things. And she said, no, I'm just gonna give it to you for a twin price. So I did pay $10 for their twin comforters. They want $10. So $10 wasn't a bad price for this. And I, I've i looked them up, they do pretty well. I don't know what I'll be able to get for it, but. I'm gonna guess maybe like 50 or 60 dollars it's a little heavy I just shipped a comforter this morning and to California it took about 14 or 15 dollars so that's everything I am going to insert a lot of footage here and you can kind of shop with me if you're not interested in that if you shop enough yourself just skip it but if you want to see what my goodwill looks like in detail feel free to watch Thanks so much. Bye.